I'm Sarah with our Furniture Flipping Adventure. Welcome to the $100 Challenge. This challenge was hosted by Sabs Rehabs. I will have her link in the description. Us furniture flippers of YouTube are taking $100 and that has to cover buying the piece and completely redoing it. All of our tools except power tools. We'll be giving you a total at the very end of what exactly it cost us to flip a piece of furniture. Now I picked a pretty big one, so hopefully I can get it done under $100. It cost me $30 to purchase. My first cost involved is going to be cleaner. I clean all of my pieces before I start with a degreasing cleaner and then wipe them down with water. My rag is just a leftover dirty rag that I had in the kitchen and retired to the garage, so it's free. But my cleaner will probably cost, oh, I don't know, 50 cents or less. But it's an important step to ensuring a long lasting finish on your piece. This drawer was not on any kind of runner, but it looks like the pieces are still there, so that's great. And not only will this save me money, but these are gorgeous, so I'm definitely gonna be keeping the hardware. I purchased this carbide scraper from Lowe's for $16 and I plan on scraping back the old finish rather than sanding or stripping. I've never done this before but I've seen other people do it with great success so I'm ready to try. So since my husband and I were both complete newbies with this, it did take a little bit of trial and error learning how to hold it properly, what kind of pressure to put on it, but it didn't actually take too very long before we felt very confident using it. And for this entire piece, scraping it by hand, my husband and I tag teamed because it's so wicked hot out here right now in Texas. One of us would scrape for a while while the other one would go inside and enjoy some cool water and air conditioning and then we'd swap places. But all together, the entire piece took us about two hours to scrape down completely. Now that seems like a really long time, but if I had gone with stripping the whole piece and I'd had to have probably done it multiple times and in this Texas heat it would have been it would have been a mess. And I hate stripping. It's just icky and sticky and sanding would have probably taken forever as well. So I'm actually pretty happy with how quickly it went. We did need to sand after this, but we'll get to that in just a moment. As you can see, the scraping got rid of the majority of the old finish off of this piece. And now we just have to go over with a few passes of sanding to ensure that everything is good and smooth. I do want to thank my husband Andrew as he really did help a lot out on this piece. And as you can see, he's much more comfortable being behind the tools than behind the camera. But don't worry, I got my fair share of sanding dust all over me too. After a good sanding, it's always best to wipe everything down with a wet rag, not only to remove that old sanding dust, but also it reveals things that you wouldn't see otherwise, like these gouges that I thought we had gotten completely out. Turns out we didn't, so there's more sanding in my future. After some scrubbing with this barkeeper's friend and a toothbrush, these handles are sparkly and spiffy once again. 
to stain or not to stain? That really has been the question of the hour or the days as we've led up to this point. My husband having had such a large hand in helping me get this piece already, definitely had some ideas of what he wanted and his ideas for a darker stain just weren't sitting with me quite right. I don't know, what would you do? Let me know down in the comments because I've already made my decision, but I'd like to hear from you what you guys think should have been done. I decided to just try out on this one door or drawer, it's a drawer. Um, just sealing it with uh, poly just to see what it would look like because wood is always darker when it has a sealer on it. And this is one coat of the sealer and I like the rich tone of this. So I think we're just gonna be leaving the wood raw and giving it plenty of good top coat over it. The top coat I'm using, we just picked up yesterday, Minwax's Polyacrylic. It's a water-based top coat, dries fast and clear, and I have it in clear satin. So that's what we're gonna be putting over this piece. I'm gonna be spraying it on with my paint sprayer. I have a 20 gallon air tank, and I'll be setting that up. It's really noisy though, so I'll probably be muting that part. No, obviously this isn't the noisy part. It's when the air compressor has to kick back on to keep the tank full enough for me to continuously spray. That's the noisy part. But since not everybody has a sprayer and an air tank to use, I've decided to add what I would use were I not spraying. I would be using one of those paint sponge applicators. So I'll list that as a cost for part of the challenge. So this is coat number four, and I imagine I'm going to put on about five or six coats total, since at the beginning it was really sucking it into that raw wood. So I might even go as high as seven top coats, but I think that'll use a little more than half the can. So for the purposes of this challenge, the whole can was $20, and I'll estimate 15 was used on this project. Now just a quick reminder of what we started with so that when we get to the next part, which is my favorite, the big reveal, you can see how far she's come. Thank you so much for supporting my channel by watching. If you wouldn't mind leaving me a like and a comment to let me know how you liked it, I would greatly appreciate it. I would love to have you stick around and you can hit that subscribe button. We post videos every Wednesday. Down in the description, there's going to be a playlist of all the other people who participated in this $100 challenge. Oh, and by the way, in case you weren't keeping track, the total on this piece all in is $70 dollars so definitely worth it so go on down and watch that playlist and click that subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time until then i'm sarah with our furniture flipping adventure goodbye for now